The Boy Scouts of America provides a program for young people that builds character, trains them in the responsibilities of participating citizenship, and develops personal fitness. In addition, the program emphasizes reverence and duty to God. For the next few minutes, we'll explore how becoming a chartered organization for scouting can greatly benefit your synagogue. As a rabbi, speaking to synagogue leadership and other rabbis, dealing with the question of why embrace and develop a scouting program in your, in your synagogue. The answer for me is quite simple. First, as a rabbi, I'm looking for ways to engage families, both families that affiliate as well as unaffiliated families, and bring them into the synagogue. The more options I have for youth, as well as for parental participation. The broader my palette, the more engaging I can be. Second of all, scouting is the finest informal educational system in the world. Scouting is a wonderful platform to teach the tenets of faith, to teach how in America we meld faith and service and do it not with just toleration, but do it with respect and appreciation in terms of engagement and of a platform to teach both principles of the faith as well as uh, how that integrates in, in modern American society. That's right here. It's a complete package. Part of the value for synagogues in becoming a chartered organization for scouting lies in the Boy Scouts' strong emphasis on duty to God. One example the Religious Emblems Program, which helps youth grow in their faith. Scouting has a platform built on key principles. One of the principles of that platform is duty to God. Baden-Powell never said, this is how you will serve God, meaning religion-specific requirements. He said, if you're going to be a good scout, and ultimately, if that's going to translate into being a good human being, acknowledging the transcendent, responding to God, is a component of a well-developed, healthy, secure young person. A number of years ago, we were camping at Camp New Fork uh, up in Wyoming, and we're watching all these shooting stars suddenly start happening. And while we're laying there, I, I just casually mentioned to the boys about, hey, just think about all those stars. Where did they come from? How did they come to be? How were they made? Next thing you know, the boys are talking amongst themselves as to creation and God and, and the purpose of life. And we had one boy there who did not have a faith. And the boys were then teaching him. He was asking questions and I was totally silent while they were teaching each other. The important thing is that we come together as a united Jewish community. There is nothing that is mutually exclusive between scouting and Judaism. Irrespective of the level of ritual participation and uh, commitment that a scout has, um, you can be reform, conservative, orthodox, and be scouts and be Jewish at scout camp, be Jewish at a jamboree, without ever compromising either the principles of scouting or the principles of Judaism. Scouting and faith form an inseparable bond. Those synagogues serving as chartered organizations can attest to how scouting supports exactly the values you desire to instill in your youth as they move into adulthood. 
Your local scouting professional can help you with the details and responsibilities of becoming a chartered organization. Please consider carefully the benefits of scouting. Together, let's keep building tomorrow's great leaders and responsible citizens.